The king has a son. His wife is pregnant, the queen, and they have a son. On the day of his birth, the king invites to his court a group of astrologers. And he's asking them what will be the life of his son. The astrologers are saying to him that unfortunately for him, the boy will not remain faithful to the religion of the father, that he will not be interested so much in the material world and in the richness and in the kingdom, but that he will go away into his own religion and that he will uh, somehow not continue the line of the father. So here the father becomes very, very upset. What he wants to do is to close his son in a kind of perfect world, but which will be completely isolated from the rest of the world. He closes him in a palace which has no windows on the street. The boy has actually no communication with the world. And in this place, there will be no old people, no sick people. There will be never mention of death, of mortality, of anything that could disturb this boy and make him be challenged to search for something else or some other way of living. So, this can work for a while, but after a certain amount of years, the boy becomes curious about the life that is outside the, the palace. And the king decides to let him go, but under one condition. The city has to be cleaned that day of anybody who is poor, old, sick, or has any problem. But the boy somehow sees in one corner of the street one old man. He asks to his people who are accompanying him, who is this man and why does he look like this? And they say to him, he has lived for a very long time. He will meet the man who will change his life. His name is Barlam, who will become his teacher and who comes in a disguise. He says that he's selling some products, some things, and he says that he has a precious stone, which can be visible only by the eyes of the spirit. And the boy becomes very, very intrigued by this man. And he starts following him and studying with him. In the end, the boy will abandon the religion of his father, and in this Christian tradition, the boy becomes Christian. So that's where we are not anymore in a Buddhistic uh, background of the story, but it's a new context. And in the end, the boy will kind of deny his father. He will really openly tell the father that his religion is uh, uh, for nothing, the religion of father, that his God is just a creation of people and the God is younger than people who created him and that he has a real faith. So here we have this conflict of faiths, religions, which is true, which is fake, which is better, which is worse. That's also something very interesting and very present in today's world as well.